So we urge the program to be very supportive because we want to, to go at large, up to international and then also at eager level so that we can empower our women. So if you empower women, I think they bring a lot of initiative to the country, to the county and everywhere. So when you educate one girl, you educate in the whole nation. So today we are very happy and we, were, we got a well-equipped uh, uh, facilitation and we are going to continue and then we were 45 women who have been selected and then out of those 45 members we again selected 21. Seven from Ethiopia, seven from Somalia and seven from Kenya, that is Mandera. So now those 21 are going to be the core or the holders of that uh, particular activities or that program. And then after selecting those 21, again, we selected uh, each, each, uh, each group, we selected one member. That is, go we are going to have every group one chair lady, meaning one chair lady from Ethiopia, and then one chair lady from Somalia, and one chair lady from Mandera. So we, are, we have started now, we are going to have work together so that we can we can have the importance and we can get our objectives through what the COCA leadership is being wanted or the, or the activities that we are going to be starting. And then next week, maybe you are going to have our, um, our what do you call, our work plan, how we are going to start our activities. And then after that, the program continues like that. So we are very happy as a county, okay? Our county is doing very well by assisting these initiatives, NGOs, with the, with the help of our governor. We are doing very well, the county is doing very well, so we are very happy that we got also, women are being given chance, always, in our county government. Even now we have majority of the women are in the executive seats, we have our women in the parliament, in the, in the, in the, in everywhere, if I say. So we are going to work with them, and we are going, to, we are supporting the program. So we are very thankful to the Women for Peace and COCAB leadership, whoever brought this program. We hope it will continue and it will benefit the people of Mandera through trade, uh, people who are in the market selling tomatoes, the mothers, uh, those who are in the. 
grass, who are selling grass in the market, all these things are going to be involved. Thread, gender, everything we are going to involve. We came here uh, for this uh, formation of a regional women caucus on peace building, trade issues, uh, business issues, many things to compose. As women, we don't have any boundaries. As women, we are everywhere. The boundaries that are here, they're just imaginary boundaries that are created by governments. But these are not boundaries that can block or stop a woman to move from one place to another. Women can be married from here to, so they can be married in Somalia. A woman from Kenya can be married in Ethiopia. The one in Ethiopia can be married in Somalia, so we don't have. At the same time, as women, we have very many clans. Our children come from different colors. I come from myself as a, a different car. My, my mother comes from a different car. So as a woman, we have no borders in terms of uh, ethnicity, in terms of uh, borders and all these things. So I welcome this uh, program that Women for Peace uh, through the Reswanag are doing for the women in terms of bringing the top women together in Mandera and then selecting a 21 member of seven women from each country, Somalia, Ethiopia, and Kenya and forming the 21 uh, Rewaka Women, Regional Women Caucus. It's a very good initiative, it's a very good network, and we hope this one will continue whereby we shall get uh, connected to IGAD and many other regional and international organizations. This is very important. It's a, region, uh, or a network that is going to fight for the rights of women uh, in the cross-border. Women are the ones who are doing a lot of business. They're in the trade, uh, the trade, uh, business, uh, trade arena, so they're the ones who carry, uh, you see most of the businesses in Mandera and Somalia and Ethiopia, 80% are those who deal with these businesses are women. So because of that, uh, we are this organization, this network that has been formed, that is a cross-border, that is a tripartite uh, for this Mandera Triangle, is going to help, help in terms of advocating and uh, collaborating with other agencies to make the smooth, uh, running of women's issues in these areas, in these three countries.